things are a little bit different than styling your regular human hair. So if you want to learn how to style your synthetic wigs, this video is for you. Let's go. Welcome to The Wiggy Woman, where I give you wig and hair topper reviews and tutorials to help you have the easiest path forward on your hair loss journey. Today, I'm going to be taking you through how I style my synthetic wigs. With styling synthetic wigs, we are a little bit more limited in the types of products and techniques that we can use, but that doesn't mean that we still can't accomplish some really great ways to make these synthetic wigs our own and tailor them to our own personal style. We're gonna take this Zara Light from John Renault Wigs and we're gonna make her more sleek and straight and that style a little bit more defined. These wigs are available at Wig Studio One, which is where I purchase most of the wigs that you see on the Wiggy Woman channel. And in addition, I will put links to all the products that I will use to style my synthetic wigs today. Okay, so this is Zara Light from John Renault Wigs. And I chose this wig because it is a style that is very sleek, but it does have some textured pieces at the end and these um, long layered looks. And then I also chose it because this is a 100% hand tied wig, which means that there is no permatease. So if I want volume and texture and things like that, it's going to have to come from styling synthetic wigs instead of the synthetic wig cap construction itself. So let's do it. I'm gonna get in here really close so you can see, I mean, you know, she looks, pretty decent and even if I just do like a basic combing with some detangling spray I can get some of these flyaways out but you'll see I'm gonna get in here really closely and you'll see like I'm getting a little bit of that bird's nest effect which I think is very common in synthetic wigs so I'm going to use a product from Tressalore which is called wig wax and this stuff is really really cool because there have been a lot of wig wax products over the years but they're usually in like a stick that you have to rub onto your wig and I find that those can be really bulky and leave a lot of buildup but this is a spray so on this one I'm not gonna really add a lot of volume to um, to the top of the wig I will add some but what I'm going to use this for is to really sleek down the flyaways and then I'm going to bring out some of these layered um, pieces with a little bit more texture so I am going to go back in here and make sure that my Zara light here is detangled which she is and this Zara light is definitely not out of the box. I wear her a lot. You probably see her all over my Instagram, um, which is just because I wear her all the time. She's sort of the one who is available for photos. So she's got a lot of wear, you can tell, which is why she needs a little bit of love. So um, again, coming in after I've combed it, you'll see, you know, we still have some of these pieces sticking up. You've got some pieces here. You keep seeing me move them away from my face. Don't want that, so shake it and I'm gonna give it a spray and I'm going to use my hands to smooth it down. When you're styling a synthetic wig, you can't use hairspray, like a normal hairspray. They do have synthetic wig hairsprays, but um, what I love about this is that it gives you that nice, look, ah, look how sleek. And look how clean this is. If you are someone like me who likes your part to be really well defined, then this is gonna be like a dream for you because you can kind of hit it with this wig wax and it works like a hairspray, but it doesn't give you the same sticky buildup that a hairspray gives you. And then I can push all of these pieces right where I want them and I can even use it to kind of style it up off of my face a little bit. So now you'll see it's falling much more to the side, which is where I like it. So this piece over here, when I style it, I usually either clip it back or I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more of this wig wax spray and sleek it over to give it a little bit more shape. And then I'm gonna take it on these ends for these face framing pieces. and just give them a little bit more definition. 
And if it's easier for you to do the definition, I have a wig safe brush here, a synthetic wig safe brush. I'm gonna get those ends. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to kind of hold it around a brush if you want that little flipped under look. I'll step back here so you can see. Give this one a little bit more definition. So I have kind of, um, where it all kind of blended together, now I have sort of broken up these pieces and given these layers a lot more definition and a lot more texture. So you can see on this side, I made the layers more defined and on this side, they are still kind of all together. Um, and then again, here up at the top, we have no flyaways. Our part line is looking really, really nice. So this is like my go-to, kind of like a synthetic wig hairspray. And boom, there you go. This is my now styled, super sleek Zara Light from John Renault Wigs using the Tressalore Wig Wax. I did put links to all of the styles down in the description, as well as the Tressalore Wig Wax and my essentials for styling synthetic wigs. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a wig review or tutorial that's posted every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.